Welcome to the course at Strawberry Hill Golf Club, designed by five-time Open champion J.H. Taylor, who was the resident professional at Royal Mid Surrey at the time. Opened in 1910, it's arguably the toughest nine-hole course inside the M25. The first tee introduces the brook, which is a feature on eight of the nine holes. This hole favours a left to right shaped shot, taking care not to catch the trees on the left that protect the railway line and out of bounds. Well placed bunkers on the left can catch longer tee shots, and playing into the prevailing wind, reaching the green in regulation can be a tough ask. Par is a great score on this hole. A small walk to hole two, which is the start of three long par threes in a row for the men, and houses the smallest green on the course. With a slope from back to front, short is the safer play, and the bunker on the left is well avoided. Hole three, and the brook comes into play at around 120 yards. A par three for the men and a four for the women means a layup can be the tactical choice for many. A subtle front to back, left to right slope green makes a short approach shot from the right quite a challenge. Hole four, Possibly the hardest par three for men, again a par four for women. Bunkers are strategically placed to defend both short and long tee shots, and the brook, though hidden from view, snaffles many a miss hit. Walking to the fifth tee on the back of three pars or better is rare and should be celebrated. Hole five, a good wide fairway before the brook, with trees to the left and right of the approach shot. Position is everything. The old agricultural ridge and furrows that remain evident mean balls tend to bounce to the right. A couple of holes in one are recorded on this hole in the clubhouse, a superb achievement. Hole six has an imposing bunker short of the green, but don't be misled, there's plenty of room between it and the green. But watch the wind carefully as the exposed green and high approach shots mean they can easily be blown off course. Hole seven, a longer par four and the only hole that doesn't feature the brook. Grass banks penalise the short tee shot, and as the trees on the right mature, the dogleg shape becomes more pronounced. A tee shot within the 150 yard marker gives a good chance of par, but beware the out of bounds on the left. The green is larger than most and the central area flatter than it looks. The eighth tee hides behind the beach hedge, creating a long carry over the brook to the green. Three bunkers surround the two tiered green, so accuracy is key. Keep an eye out for fellow golfers teeing off on the ninth. The ninth takes you back to the clubhouse for a well-earned drink. But first you have to navigate a tight fairway before an approach to the course's biggest green. To avoid the bunkers front right of the green, an approach from the left of the fairway is the tactical play, but it's easy to overreach and be among the trees. Out of bounds behind the green brings the captain's charity bunker into play. A gently undulating green finishes your round.